Hi, my name's Andrea, and I'm a content marketing specialist here at Vulture. In this week's Tech Talk, we're going to be looking at Vulture CDN. Vulture CDN is a next-generation content delivery service that pushes content closer to the edge without compromising security. Learn more now. Hi, everyone. My name is Mayank, and I'm the Head of Developer Advocacy here at Vulture. In this webinar, I am really excited to introduce you to the Vulture Content Delivery Network. It is one of our latest product offerings, and it helps you accelerate your web applications across six continents. It does that by caching all of your static assets on the edge, making it really fast for your users to consume. Just like all of our product offerings, Vulture CDN is really easy to implement. It is enabled by default in all of our 32 data center locations. So spanned across six continents, be it a user from Asia, Africa, Middle East, South America, North America, your content will always be served from the nearest location. Some of the benefits that you get out of using a content delivery network is that you get to offload all the requests coming into your web server for asking CSS files, image files, video files, JavaScript files. You get to offload all of that to our service and focus on serving your actual business logic. It helps you manage the traffic spikes and also improves the user experience by lowering the latency since all of the static assets are being served from a nearest location. Since Vulture has one of the lowest bandwidth pricing in the industry, if you're not already hosted on Vulture, it also helps you reduce some of the costs that you're spending on your bandwidth. Some of the features that come with Vulture CDN is gzip compression, which helps you reduce the size of your static assets, making it even more faster for your users to consume. It comes with cross-origin resource sharing protection, so you can enable or disable some of the websites which, which can access your static assets. It also lets you block all the bad bots and the AI scrapers from protecting all of your assets. Now that I have told you all about Vulture CDN, some of the features, benefits, I'm also going to be demonstrating how to implement it with your own website. For the demonstration, I'm going to be using a WordPress website, but even if your website is not based on WordPress, we have all of the procedures documented on Vulture Docs. You can find the links in the description down below. So no matter your website uses an Apache web server, Nginx web server, we have got it all covered. So let's get started with the demonstration. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I spun up a really quick WordPress website using a marketplace application and the server is currently based out of Johannesburg. I am located in India, in Delhi NCR. And it's quite a lot of distance between Johannesburg and where I'm located. You will see that translate into latency for loading each static asset on our website because you see here there's a video, it takes quite a lot of buffering for me, and then there are several images on this page. So let's just try to open the inspect panel here, and you can go to network and you can select the files you want to see so i just selected css javascript static content all of that so images and media when i try to refresh this you will see that i see a lot of 300 600s you know that's a lot of latency happening here right now the website does not have quite a lot of images but in real use case there might be images much more than this and also you will notice that these are really small images. You might have images quite a lot larger than this. And obviously there are, there are some buffering issues with this website. So what we can do to solve this is go to our customer portal, go to CDN and we'll deploy a new CDN subscription by clicking on this add CDN button. You will have to add a new label here. So for that, I'll just type in example website because that's what it says in the title. I'll copy my domain name. You can also put in subdomains here if your web application is hosted on one of your subdomains. And you can select the additional features such as the course protection, gzip compression, blocking AI bots and potentially malicious bots. You will see that there is a flat monthly cost of $10 and you can just click on add CDN again. 
and right away you will notice that you get a CDN domain. What you have to do with this CDN domain is you just copy this, go to your WordPress admin panel, go into plugins. I'll just add a new plugin. So you can search this plugin by typing in CDN enabler. And this is the one we are looking for. So I'll just click on install now. Activate this plugin. Then it takes us to this page where we have to click on the settings. Now that we have landed upon this page, you can see all the CDN inclusions here. So this is for mp4 files, .json files, .js, uh, then there should be CSS, GIF files, and a lot of other static assets. You can also add or remove some of the file extensions if you want to disable caching for those or disable bypassing it through the CDN for some reason. Uh, but you can just paste in your CDN domain here and you can just click on save changes. And right away, uh, we can go to our website here. I'll just log out of my admin panel. Oops, I clicked on my profile. I'll just go to log out. So for the first few refreshes, it will be caching all of our uh, static assets from the origin URL to the CDN. So you might not see some performance boost right away. Uh, right now we are seeing nine, 900ms nine yet again, but that's because the cache status was a miss. Uh, I'm pretty sure when we refresh the next time around, uh, it will be serving from a nearer location and you can see that the latency time has drastically dropped from somewhere around 600ms of average latency. We have dropped to 144ms. And you can confirm that this is being served from a CDN domain and the cache status was hit. So that means that all of our static assets are now cached on the nearest location. And I'll just quickly try to play this video and you will see that it plays really smoothly, does not take a lot of time for buffering and it is a common theme across all of your static assets. And that's how easy it is to implement Vulture CDN with your WordPress websites. If your website is not based on WordPress, you can go to docs.vulture.com and you'll also find a link in the description down below. You just click on the latest docs, filter by tags, the search for Vulture CDN, apply the filter. And you will see that we have quite a lot of documents published for Vulture CDN. If you're not comfortable with using a CDN en enabler, you can also enable it using WP Fastest Cache, WP Super Cache, W3 Total Cache. And we also have individual guides for Nginx Web Server, Apache Web Server, which will show you how to implement it with custom web applications. I hope that you liked the demonstration. If you want to learn more about Vulture CDN or any of the other product offerings, you can check out the articles published on the Vulture Docs. Thank you for joining today's webinar and I hope to see you in the next one.